Let's do an overreaction Monday here on Tuesday. That was terrible. That was crap. That was garbage. This place sucks. Overreaction Tuesday. <laughs> Some of your finest work. Good right? job. Good job. Some of your finest right. work. Uh, top notch. <laughs> Some of your finest work. All right, boys. Lamar Jackson is now the odds on MVP favorite. He's minus 300 after opening the season. 75 to 1 to win MVP. At 22, he'd be the youngest quarterback ever to win MVP. My overreaction to you, Rich, Lamar Jackson wrapped up the MVP last oh, night. Oh, no, that's an overreaction. That's an overreaction. Let's see what Russell does. Let's see what happens. What if Michael Thomas breaks every single record that, that uh, Jerry Rice has? That would be a tough one for him to lose that. And let's see how Lamar finishes the season. There's still lots of football left to be played, but right now he's your front runner. It would have to take a remarkable downfall and a remarkable spark from another quarterback, most likely, to win the division. Well, we saw it win, two years ago. Award. Unfortunately, he'd have to get injured like Carson Wentz. That's true. Don't want, not obviously, even, obviously right. don't even want to put that out there. So I'll just say overreaction for the moment. All right, next, 49ers-Ravens in Week 13, Super Bowl preview. Wouldn't that be amazing? Another... And, and the fact that they played each other the last time they each went to the Super Bowl, that was the Harbaugh. Um, and I will discuss this on tomorrow's show. I get, you know, uh, for NFL Game Day morning Thanksgiving show, they always give us a mulligan. Do we want to change our preseason pick? And my preseason pick was Saints over Patriots. Well, that's still looking pretty good. Um, do I, I? I'm going to say that's an overreaction. Are you Ravens. giving us a hint of where you're going to go? I want to, we've got a ton of real estate okay. on tomorrow's program. We'll hit that then. For the moment, I will just say overreaction. All right, let's talk 49ers. They have the best defense in the National Football That's League. an overreaction, too. The Ravens and the Seahawks have, are, are pounding people, pounding them. And then you've got the Patriots, who in every measure might have the best statistical season in the history of that yeah, side of the football. Still just nine touchdowns so allowed. Another overreaction okay. there. Yeah. Uh, Devlin McGregor Hodges, yes. currently the Pitt Steelers of the sixth seed, will lead the Steelers to the playoffs. That's an overreaction. <laughs> will lead them to the playoffs. Stranger things have happened. Could he be the Foles Hostetler of this season? Why it not? Would be, it would be fitting. And by the way, if the Steelers make the playoffs. Tom uh, one coach of the year. I don't know. I mean, Harbaugh's got to be up there too. No, it seemed Kyle Shanahan. I know. But he he should get votes. Devlin Hodges, undrafted, we all know that, didn't even get invited to the Combine. If he wins three of his last five, if he does, he would match um, he would match Minshew for rookie quarterback wins. And and right now, he you know, quarterback wins for a rookie class, you've got Daniel Jones got the two and he hasn't gotten one since. Right. And right now, um, Kyler Murray's got three. Devlin McGregor Hodges <laughs> can switch the samples on everybody I mean, with, a, with a late run. With could, a late run. I mean, could happen. Yeah. Well. Right now, Minshew's in the clubhouse with four. All right, let's get super hot here. We're going to hear from Jerry Jones at the top of the hour. The Cowboys will miss the playoffs. We'll make this the last one. Lower the music. They will not miss the playoffs. That's an overreaction. However, I would love for this to be absolutely spot on because we discussed this in your absence yesterday. Somebody went on Twitter saying they would eat a hat in particular oh. <laughs> if the Philadelphia Eagles made the playoffs. I said a bite. I made you sure, said, hey, I, made, I, I, made sure I put that matter. in writing. Hey, look, if Zeke had not started the season because of the holdout or Gronk returned to action this year, Neither one of us, meaning me or Mike, would have had to the consume the entire hat. Yeah, I get it. Okay. I just figured, you know, but out of, the oh, theme no, of the year no, was I hats. understand it's the theme of the year. But you do realize that in terms of odds of eating the hat, based on well, the construct I, uh, of eating yes. the hat, you this are is, the one most likely to yeah. do it. I mean, nope. You, I mean, yeah. dude, Philadelphia is, nope. Philadelphia is going to get Lane Johnson back. We assume Jordan Howard. Get, get him a quarterback. Excuse me. Excuse me. Lane Johnson is coming back this week. We're assuming Jordan Howard, Alshon Jeffrey, and Nelson Aguilar will eventually be behind him. They're not suffering season-long, season-ending situations. They're at Fitzmagic this weekend. 
Um, after this weekend at Fitzmagic, they're home on a Monday nighter against the Giants. They're at Washington, and we're assuming the quarterback will not be taking selfies when it's <laughs> exactly. on the line. That was incredible. Yeah. And then they're home for the Cowboys. Who, by the way, have got a Buffalo team this weekend who we know can come into that building and hit them in the mouth and win that football game. Then they're at Trubersky, where you know anything can happen. Dallas, after Trubersky, they are home for the Rams, who might pull something together before they go visit Philadelphia. You, sir... I'm putting myself out there. You definitely did. And we uh, and, and the fact that what got you to do it was McLovin on Twitter, which is like, you want to talk about a hot take artist. I know. I take I his bait stuff all the, the time. Yeah. I mean, it's the worst. All the time I take his bait. It's the lowest, worst bait on I Twitter know. is what Andrew Perloff is putting out there. I couldn't help and myself. And you snapped I mean, it up. I did. I couldn't stop you it. You snapped he was like, it up. Right in. And you you took the bait and you put out on Twitter that you will eat Del Tufo's hat if the Eagles Seriously, make the playoffs. Yeah. I like my hat, dude. I don't want <laughs> my hat. I like my hat. It, like McLovin needs to be stopped. Like he can't keep doing this. Someone Except, has to continually call him out for all these preposterous I, takes. I get it. And if it's gonna be me throwing out there eating a hat, so be it. I will wear this crown. Unfortunately for you, if you eat the hat, it's not gonna stop him. As Dan would say, you can only hope to contain him. This guy's out of his mind. He is, but don't take that bait. I'm Couldn't glad you did, though. I didn't help mean. myself. Oh, <laughs> baby. Couldn't help myself. <laughs> One hat was safe from fly, Gronk. Fly, Eagles, fly. May it <laughs> soar to victory in the form of a Callaway hat chopped up off Del Tufo's head and in your mouth. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.